Five, four, three, two, one, one. six miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. This is Johnny Five six one double five two three two. That's O double seven five six one double five two three two. Or email us at the Johnny and Russell Show at gmail.com. That's the Johnny and Russell Show at gmail.com. Or Twitter at Johnny and Russ. That's Twitter at Johnny and Russ. The Johnny and Russell Show on Spreaker FM.
is Bilbo Baggins. And I've got one of my nuts, my one of my nut sacks yeah. stuck oh. up a tree. Oh. And it's very, very painful. Oh. No. Bilbo Baggins. Good evening, good afternoon. If you're listening in places that have not reached evening yet, Good morning, if you're listening in Australia or New Zealand or on the Pacific Coast. What? We are here in Essex, in England, yes. broadcasting to the world. And I will go through the map of the world and slag every country off in 10 minutes time. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hello, Jason Marco, who's listening. There's a comma after baby, that's what it is. Who's listening in London Town. London Town! Good old London Town, as a, as, as a good friend once said. Because London's my town. Who is it there? Craig Neal. Oh, no. Craig Neal says, London. Oh, what was it? It's my town, isn't it? Because London's my town. No. Because London's mine. Oh, right. Isn't it London's mine? It was a rainy day in London town. Well, it's a rainy day in London town. And then the the dee the dee the dee the I dream of palm trees. <laughs> That's the one, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a good song. Mm. One of my favourites, that. Yeah. If, you, if you're all it's good, old... we'll play that for you. We've got it, haven't we? We should play that. We should play a Craig Nelson every day, every, every, every time. It's indulgent. Self-indulgence. Self-indulgence. But we love it. Beyond the call of duty. And of course, there's the, there's the unforgettable. Uh, I don't, it reminds me of you. It's a classic, that one reminds me of you. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know how that boy never made it, mate. Uh, I don't know how he had he had a big chart success. He's he said the same. Huh? He's the same. Yeah, he will say the same. What we should do is have Craig Neal one day live. See these live see these tunes live to us. No, I wouldn't go that far. No, neither would I, but uh, What about Craig Neal live and we can shoot him on live on air? That sounds good. I like the idea of that. Mm. If you'd <coughs> like to hear that, please text us. Please vote for it. Vote for it because uh, that's what we're here for. We are here for that. That's what we're queer for. That's what we're queer for. We're very queer. Reminds me of you. So, any more revelations? I'll tell you more revelations about JS. Oh, there's more in there. <laughs> His great niece now has come forward. What? His great niece has come forward. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. His great niece. His great niece, right? Yeah. But he's not stir up. Yeah. No! Oh, yeah. He's not one of the family. Oh, yeah. why should you do that, mate? You're, you're fair game. <laughs> she told her mum, but her mum didn't believe her. Brilliant. What, so what was, hang on. What was, so her mum, her mum... Craig was... Neal is shite. <laughs> that's not me talking. No, no, that's, no, no, that's no, no. Jason Marco talking. No, well, Jason, that's not very nice. Well, it's not me talking, it's not us talking. That's the listener. No, no, he's a friend listener, of ours. Listener's well, entitled to his opinion. <laughs> he is entitled. He is entitled to his opinion. He is. If he thinks Craig Neal's shite, then he's right. Oh. In his eyes. Bless his heart. Anyway. I don't want to slay it off the rich and famous, but, you know. No, everybody's fair game here, mate. No, it's so. Anyway. Now, what was that? What's Craig Neal's? No, we're talking about John. Oh, fucking hell. Don't try and tar Craig Neal with J Jimmy Savile in the same breath as Jimmy Savile. Because Craig Neal's a lot of things, but I won't have that. No, we're not that said about him. What? Tell me. What's, what's his... What's her, uh, gra uh, that makes what... Her uh, mum's who? I'm not into the ins and outs of it. Great niece would mean... It's his... His niece's daughter. It's his niece's daughter. Yeah. Right, okay. Right, okay. It's his niece's daughter. 
Right. This is great, niece. Yeah. So she's come forward, has she? She's come forward. She told her mum. Mum didn't believe her, but she said her mum was on a ticket with him. You know, he was paying for things for her. Paying for her silence, basically. So he let him vote. He got the family involved. Well, it's no surprise, is it? The man... The man... As the police are so fond of telling us, is is one is probably Britain's greatest ever sex offender. Brilliant. Just, just top of the nonces. And fucking. And they'd had a show called Top of the Nonces in the seventies. He would have presented that as well. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, Top, top of, of the Nonces. nonces. Uh, and for the eighty seventh week and number one in Top of the Nonces, it's me. <laughs> How's about that then, guys and girls? But I'll tell you what, there's a lot, a lot of people they're saying a lot of big people are shitting themselves. I bet they are in a whole lot of good They're saying calls. arrests are imminent. The old Bill was saying arrests are imminent. Oh. And, the, and the old Bill even said some well-known names are in the frame. It's all going to come out. <laughs> it's all coming out now. <laughs> people that you grew up, Russ. People that you grew up trusting. No Edmonds. No, you don't. <laughs> do you really do you know? No. I keep thinking of that number because he came up, didn't he? His name did come up on, on YouTube when I was looking down, and it just said Noel Edmonds. But surely not now. I can't believe not. not. No, you know, I mean people are going to be found being flying around guilty by association, aren't they? I mean, basically, if you were a DJ at Radio One in the seventies, you're going to be under suspicion now, aren't you? But mind you, do you know I did. It was very strange though when they were asking people around if they were ever were friendly with Jimmy Savile. Even years ago, they they said they weren't. No. Are there any friends? No. Well, you know, I think I think nonsense is a is a thing that's done on privately, isn't it? Well, I would presume so. If you're that famous, you're not going to go around and tell everybody, really, are you? No. It's terrible, isn't it? Really. Of course, in this, it's great. Well, what we did mention about the the uh, panorama, the panorama program was fantastic. Because basically, it was just the BBC giving itself a fucking almighty kicking. <laughs> it was the BBC just beating itself up. Yeah, they do, didn't they? Well, the Sun did that, didn't they? Well, News of the World did that before they. They, they did whole, whole fucking days with a slate and the fuck out of themselves. <laughs> and they closed down. I think you've got that. I think you've got that name wrong. Well, I'm pretty sure you've got that name wrong. What? Because I've never heard of him. Who? Uh, if anybody's listening and they're offended by a language, I would advise you to turn off now. Yeah. Because it says, um, I'm just going to let. If you're offended by language, turn off now. Right now. Right now. There we go. I've warned you. Right. It says uh, that can Christopher Higgins must be one, but I'm pretty sure he means Christopher Biggins. There's a Christopher Higgins, isn't there? No, it must be his Biggins. Well, no, no. What, what? I don't know what. Gav's come in with this one. Gav, he's not. Well, because he's queer. No, that was Jason who came in with that one. Oh, Jason. This is Gav's one. It's nothing to do with what we're talking about at all. It just says, Chinese are tight cunts, not the female kind. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, oh he, he, Gav loves other kind. <laughs> he loves it. He does have a little. Once we get going, it, it sparks him off. I think something tweak turns inside him. Yeah. They start abusing him. <laughs> well, you know, they, they don't get this on their normal radio fair, do they? No, they don't, no. They don't get. You can't. This ain't family favourites, man. No, this ain't, fa this ain't two way family favourites, no, is it? No. And the next song is Al Jolson. No, it's, it's not. And the next song is Miss Lena Zavaroni. Oh, With no. Ma, he's making he eyes at me. me. I think that was about fucking Jimmy Savile. That was 1976. I bet she met Jimmy Savile and she wrote that. Even though it's a really old song. It was an old song. Yeah. No, it's 76 that was with her. I'd love to see if there's a clip of her singing that or Jim will fix it. Because it was probably more like fucking... I don't think he had... More of a plea for help than a song. I just face it, Jimmy Savile... Met everybody. He met everybody. Jimmy Savile met everybody. Cab users, that's what he meant. People who use the cab. Oh. Chinese people. 